Yo. Yeah. Yeah. Let's back at it. Yes, we are. What's going on, guys? Such a blessing to have y'all, man. Um, really we're back is. at another one, as y'all can see again. We are back home, not on the road um, for now. But let's get to this video, man. You know, um, Awaken JP hmm. said something, something <laughs> about Obama. And I'm curious to see what information Awaken JP has. Because mm -hmm. y'all know that his stuff be funny, but he has the truth and the laughter. Yeah. So this will be interesting. This will be interesting. This. <laughs> Did right. This. Let the truth be told in joke. Let the truth be told in joke. And it is. Jokes. No, he 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 definitely fits that narrative. You know, when you said let the truth be told in jokes, he's that person. Breaking news. Breaking Obama news. once wrote to ex-girlfriend that he repeatedly fantasizes about making love to men. Welcome back to the JP Reacts channel, my beautiful freedom loving friend, where we heard this a couple times. But that was his writings. Okay. It wasn't like somebody made that up for him. That was his information. I gotcha. Like to call out the lies, hypocrisy, and corruption of tyrants. Shine the light of awareness on woke absurdities and highlight the amazing work of other freedom fighters. So the breaking news, <laughs> Obama's uh, biographer, or actually I don't know that it's his biographer, a biographer says Obama used to write letters to an ex-girlfriend while they were together sharing that he repeatedly fantasizes about making love to men. I find nothing wrong with that. But why this actually matters to me is Mr. Barack Obama, you know, he's he's kind of, kind of he's kind of got his uh, fist up someone's buttocks, using them as a puppet, running the country. Some would say he's maybe not the most honest fellow. So why this matters, if it's true, it's it's another mark of dishonesty okay. that Obama has tarnished himself with. And I, I would say earned the lack of respect from Americans. But before we go on, there's a, a very interesting video I want to show you that really it, it calls this out and calls out something else. I mean, okay. come on. Barack Obama and his beautiful wife, Michael Obama. <laughs> Big Mike video calls Big that out, Mike? predicts it. Maybe there's a blood trail. I don't know. I never said that was so long. That is so funny. And Big Mike, they be, and then not only they be like Mike, they be like Big Mike. <laughs> okay, because I was wondering who is Big Mike. They've been always they've been saying Michelle is um a guy. Oh my and, gosh, um, leave her alone. She is not a guy. That is I don't know. So cool. I don't Man, I don't know, man. I, well, I will. Only thing I can say is, in this day and age, you can have great surgery. People so are I don't just put I don't put ruthless. anything behind anything anymore. And just to get the record straight, people gonna want to know. They gonna based on your comment, they gonna think you standing up for Michelle. Are you standing I up for Michelle? I don't care what people. I'm think. asking you. I am being a. I'm woman. asking you. I'm being. It ain't about standing up for Michelle. If you ain't got no facts, then don't bring no crap to me. That's what I'm standing on. Let's keep it moving. But they call her Big Mike. Um, <laughs> Let's keep it moving. I don't care what folks She's a think. Michelle supporter. You know how I feel about what people, uh, assumptions. Oh, the chef is dead now. You got to think. But before we put our tinfoil hats on, I have to say when this news <laughs> came out, I just it reminded me of this recent, just probably my favorite Babylon Bee meme ever posted. Apparently Justin Trudeau and a you know, Canadian dictator and his wife are getting a divorce. Babylon Bee says, Trudeau's divorce leaves nation in shock that he was married to a woman. Really? <laughs> what? And then this comes out ob about Obama. It's great. Now, the, the details of this story, there's definitely potential holes. It's really hearsay, where apparently these letters that Barack Obama wrote to his then-girlfriend, she apparently sold them to make money. You know, he's president now. She made whatever See? amount of money she made. And those letters are now under lock and key. So now it's here to say where the biographer said, yeah, the ex-girlfriend, she told me about these letters and the biographer <laughs> made the notes based on what she says. So obviously she can say anything and obviously she has the potential to be telling the truth. So in spite of what my, uh, Fauci might tell you, this isn't scientifically <laughs> clad, it's scientifically clad. Like that's actually a term. Right. It is now. You got to trust the science on this, but it's interesting. And of course, things start to add up. We all know about the Michael Obama conspiracy where Michelle is actually a man. 
lying to America this whole time. And if that's the case, this would make sense. Barack Obama repeatedly fantasizing about making love to other men, which is very beautiful and sensual. He's not looking to ravage them. Like he could have said that, he didn't. He wants to make love to men. It's, that's his fantasy, that's, but is it Too his much. reality? Did he actually marry a man who's been disguised as a woman this whole time? You let these potentially photoshopped pictures be the judge. Here you see, I mean, this is basically proof. Game, set, match, Obamas, because I mean, to me, the most convincing thing about this wait, picture wait, wait. is the yellow arrow that's drawn showing Michelle Obama's crotch. Uh, uh. Now a crotch, which is potentially photoshopped, and even if it's not, she's wearing clothing, and we all know that clothing never gets wait. wrinkled. So given that it never gets wrinkled, it could only mean what one thing. It? A wiener. <laughs> <laughs> this, he, said, he said, look, at, look these clothes are not wrinkled. There's got to be no, a plausible said, explanation. But he said, these clothes are not wrinkled. So you, that's got to be one thing. <laughs> but I mean, it really <laughs> looks weird. It does. It does. I'm sitting here thinking, do you, is that some type of garment that she has on to flatten her abs? And it's so that that does look kind of familiar to that statue because that statue has got a kid it penis. Does. Over there. Oh my gosh, that is suspicious. That 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 ain't right, you know. That is weird. What else could it be? But again, the yellow arrow here is the most convincing thing, uh, and here we have a more convincing picture, more scientifically clad, because there's not just an arrow, but there's also a circle. And what's circled and what the arrow is pointing to actually doesn't really look like a wiener, no. which can only mean one thing. It's definitely a wiener because someone went to the trouble of Making putting a circle. a circle and an arrow here. Now, I think fun of it is, I'm probably offending some of y'all right now, really. Oh, JP, you're acting God. like Michelle Obama could be a woman. What is wrong with you, man? First off, I apologize. I apologize. I, I've actually just never seen a picture where like I'm convinced because I know like photoshopping's a thing and like, well, you drew an arrow. That is very convincing. So that's crazy. I'm making fun of evidence that doesn't seem very strong to me. But I'm not necessarily convinced Michelle Obama's a woman. I want to be honest with you. I want to look you right in the freedom loving eyes and say, I don't know what Michelle Obama is. But with this story coming out, it would make sense, like the conspiracy, which, you know, we all. And see, the tough part is, um, let's say maybe seven years ago, six years ago, it would seem. When I heard about this, I heard people talking about this years ago. Really? And um, so, but it was a little bit, it seemed really super far-fetched. Yeah. Until, because of the, we hadn't stepped into the era that we're in now. And now that I think about it, I think I may have heard it like once or twice. It was like, ugh. But look like, at the era. It was just like, but yeah, now, right. But, but now when you look at the era Please. on how some of these men have become women and now you would completely be faked. I wouldn't, you know, I can't put nothing by, past yeah. anything now. I just, for me, it's like, I need hard hard solid hardcore facts because that's a lot to call a woman a man and she's really not so i'm like i hear what you're saying but give me some proof know what that means it means probably true the conspiracy probably that michelle true. is a man named michael makes sense because if this dude fantasizes about making love to men it would make sense that he's with a man that he can repeatedly make sweet messy love to but there's a video and to me this is the Too most uh, convincing piece of evidence on the whole conspiracy that i've ever seen now this video of joan rivers it's not only evidence of Michelle Obama is a man, but also evidence substantiating this new biographer's claim that Obama was writing letters to an ex-girlfriend saying he repeatedly fantasizes about making love to men. It includes both. Mm-hmm. Kind of makes you think. Now, before I show you this video, it's just a short 39 that seconds. Is- you might be saying, JP, it can easily be a deep fake. Well, I thought of that. And because I'm a scientist, what I did on YouTube, I scrolled down and I saw that it was uploaded five years ago. Okay. Deep fakes a were scientist. either non-existent or a hell of a lot less existent back then. So... I will say the one fallacy of this video is like, it's relatively low quality, so it could easily be voice dubbed someone pretending to be Joan Rivers. 
but I doubt anyone on the internet would do that. So <laughs> let's just treat this as admissible to court and consider okay. what Joan Rivers has to say about the Obamas. Ms. Rivers, how are you? You made you made a ton of news right. officiating the wedding in New York yesterday. Is this like a is this like a new uh, cottage uh, career move I for you? I'm so excited. Okay. And I should do very well because I don't choke. And do you? And the fact that she has severe Botox, so like her lips, even if she was talking, you know, Drunken Rivers is dead, but when she was alive, when she was talking, her lips don't even match her words. Would make it actually easier Stop to it. dub voice into this, <laughs> but. Again, I, I don't want that to be the rally. I want this to be true. So let's okay. just do confirmation bias right now. Do you think that the country will see the first, the United States will see the first gay president or the first woman well, we president? We already have it with Obama. So let's just calm down. Got it. <laughs> so we already had the first gay president with Obama. Joan Rivers, did she know? She said, She's let's saying just she knew. calm down. And the most important part. You know Michelle is a trend. Uh, I'm sorry, she's a what? transgender we all know oh my gosh <laughs> oh my gosh and she says that michelle obama is a transgender wow and this video See, is entitled joan rivers dies after saying obama is gay and michelle is a man that makes me think the chef of the obamas that was found not swimming too well dead in their own pond on their own property what did he see what did he know he's dead Joan Rivers is dead. Joan Rivers very likely could maybe have said what we just witnessed her maybe saying. Think about that. Now, <laughs> I'm mostly amused by this. It, you know, Obama, if there was a moral to this story, it would be to basically confirm Obama is a deceptive human posing as like a really astute statesman. He's out for our best interest, very charismatic, great to listen to, but deceptively posing as that to usher in a more evil agenda, potentially still running our country, even though it's very unlikely that Biden, you know, high performing Biden, like how would he not be in complete control of our country? High performing Biden, please. <laughs> funny. What a play on words. <laughs> Stop it. Hey, man, I'm, such, I'm a fan of Jake. Oh, my God. I promise you, bro. It's, it's stuff no, he thank you. I love how he's, yes, he puts things hilarious. in his words. Right. So, at best, the moral of the story is it's confirmation that a deceptive person is deceptive. Because here's some other things that he's been deliberately deceiving the public on. But the bigger reason is this is just amusing to me. Uh, I love speculating. And I... Here, I'm going on record. I am committed to believing that this is all true, no matter what. You can show me evidence that actually proves it's not true, yet I identify this as true. Please respect my truth. I need this to be a safe space, and I hope you can just accept me and my truth together. And I want to convince you to make this your truth as well, because it matters. I don't know why it matters, but it really feels like it matters to me. With that said, my freedom loving friend, thank you for having fun with me on this video. I'll look forward to seeing you next time. But before you go, I want <laughs> Man. Oh my goodness, o man. OMG. I mean, of course it wasn't any solid, solid no. stuff like records, but it's mighty coincidental. You have that disclaimer in here too, by oh, the way. Oh, for sure. Yeah. It's my for sure. And it's it's mighty it's yeah. It's mighty coincidental about it is coincidental about the Joan Rivers thing. I kind of heard a little bit about that in the past, but the thing I with didn't. the chef. I didn't. What? I believe, I do believe that if you step to those families wrong, you will get dealt with and it will always be covered up and made it look like it was something else. I do feel like if you catch the wrong thing, you, but you got one coming. What could the chef have stepped to and say it wrong after all this time? He had been with them for years. You was he worried about the truth coming out? I mean, it's out now. You never know. And I'm, I'm thinking to myself, why would he write that in a letter to a girl, to a girlfriend? I mean, why would you want to tell your girlfriend that? He didn't think you were going to be the president then. Why would oh, you, no, still, I take that why back. Would you I'll take that tell... back. You never know how people, a person is groomed for a long time. You just don't know because why would you based tell on your girlfriend who his that, dad was. Um, why would you tell your girlfriend that? I don't know. You don't know what kind of relationship. That's they weird. might have a, a, a relationship where they can communicate and talk like that. Jones said, everybody knows. Yeah, she... I mean, the people in that circle that run together have... A whole nother level of information access oh. that the commoner huh, does Dang. not. Oh. So most definitely, I would not have heard that. You wouldn't have heard it. Oh my gosh! But I didn't think about it. You know, after she said that, she disappeared. I didn't know that. <sighs> so they say. Well, that's what he just said. But 
I don't know. That's why you got to have the facts, you know, based off what we knew and what was reported. It was based off of, you know, her, her with the my surgeries. My Lord and my God. The, with her surgery and stuff um, like that. But, wow, man, that's crazy. Because what, look, what it looked like in her dress, what else could that have been? He said, it can't be nothing but a wiener. <laughs> what is that? I don't even, I'm just thinking about the garments that I have. My garments don't have nothing that's going to poke out like that. There's no wiener section in your garment. No, it's going to be, even if you have to snap it, it's going to be between the legs and the crotch. So you're not going to be able to see it. Or you just step into it and it's already, the crotch part has a little slit open already for you there. So it's easy for the woman to go to the bathroom. That so, is crazy. Uh, uh, I just had, uh, some images popped on my head, man. Just wow. made want to yak a little bit in my mouth. But um, I see, I mean, who cares about any of that, really? But I see the whole point. If you're not being honest about things and all of this was, if it is true, that does show that that, that lacks character. Come out and say, what that, you, you know, don't try to deny and, then, and hide yeah. it. And then what happens is, if that word is true, then that questions everything that you've said and done in this office. Exactly. And that, the biggest question that it would do on the question is the agenda that was pushed under his in administration. He was the first president that pushed heavy for a certain thing to go to certain group and it's so that would make sense yeah Ooh, that boy. would be tough but i'm just still saying if that's the case the shift was there with them in the white house he served during that term but why now i'm just that's what i'm saying i don't you know you don't know he's he deeper than that what if he stumbled up on something that he hadn't been privy to maybe what if he um or what if, she, if he was a boyfriend what, that's what one of the um just gonna said. say what if she what if she she who is she oh she, oh what if, uh, uh what if she pushed up on the shelf something bald boy oh <laughs> <laughs> i don't know so i'm sorry ways. man but um, so many ways oh is. my let's goodness let's not speculate oh my goodness but there will be multiple disclaimers let's in this not, video yeah um that, let's not speculate uh, all right man <laughs> that's horrible there's a woman without a husband right now and kids without a dad that's the saddest part to me. Yeah, that is. That's horrible. Yeah. Did Joan River has kids? Yeah. I know she had a daughter. I don't know if she had multiple kids, but I know she has a daughter. He said, J William JP said when she would talk and her lips wouldn't move because she had so much surgery. He's like she was talking behind her lips. I like Joan River funny. I don't, I, yeah. I don't. All right. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't take a nosedive, but comment down in the section below if you want some more. We got to go, man. Bye-bye. <laughs>